Welcome back to the new part modeling tutorial. This is our exercise number 38, triangular mount bracket. Please take a screenshot of this drawing. We'll move to CATIA, define the sketch and select this left view plane means YZ plane, position sketch and OK. Select a circle command, create circle from origin point. The circle diameter is 68 mm. Select this fit all in. Now select profile command. Create horizontal line, and vertical line, and close this profile. Now constrain this file. Select vertical line, and vertical axis. This horizontal distance is 60 mm. The vertical distance is 9 mm. Now trim this unwanted line. Select quick trim option and trim this line or trim this circle. Now exit workbench. Go to insert. Insert new body. Now rename this body. This is a shaft. Now select sketch one. Select pad command. This pad length is 86 mm. 86 by 2. Select mirror extend and OK. Define the sketch. Now we will insert new plane which is parallel to this top plane means YZ plane. Insert plane. This offset distance is 37 mm. The upward direction. And OK. Select plane 1. Position sketch. Reverse horizontal. Reverse vertical. Okay. Select circle command, create circle to coincidence to the vertical axis, create another circle in the left side, now give the diameter and position of the circles, select horizontal axis and left side circle point. This vertical distance is 75 minus 15 mm, 60 mm. Select point and vertical axis. This horizontal distance is 72 by 2, 36 mm. And this circle diameter is 16 mm. This circle diameter also 16 mm. Select second circle point and horizontal axis. This vertical distance is 75 plus 40 mm it is 115 mm. Now select this left side circle and select mirror command. Select a vertical axis to mirror this same circle to the right side. In the line command select by tangent line to create a tangent line over the circles. Now trim unwanted arc or unwanted circle. Select quick trim. Trim this unwanted circles. Now exit workbench. Go to insert body. Rename this body. Is a triangle. Okay. Now select sketch to select pad command. Pad length is 14 mm. In the downward direction. Select reverse direction and OK.
hide this plane one and insert a new plane and select this yz plane the plane type change angle or normal to plane rotational axis is x axis angle is 45 degree it's minus 45 okay now I hide the main three planes select plane to position sketch okay select circle command and create circle from the origin point the circle diameter is 32 mm Exit workbench. So to insert body, rename this body as a solid shaft. Okay. Now select sketch 3 and select pad command. This pad length is 45 mm. Reverse direction and okay. Hide this plane to define the part body. Select shaft, right click, object, select add shaft added to part body. And OK. Define part body. Select triangle, right click, object, add. Triangle added to part body. Okay. Select solid shaft. Right click. Object. Add. Now define the part body. Select whole command. Select this face. Whole diameter is 50 mm. Position sketch, select point and this circle edge, right click, concentricity and exit open edge. Change blind to up to next and ok. Define the part body, again select whole command. Select this top triangle face, position sketch, select this arc and this point, right click and select concentricity, exit workbench. This circle diameter is 8 mm, is up to next and ok. Now unite this main three planes, select hold to, select mirror command and select this vertical plane means yz plane and ok. Can define the part body, select hold command, select this top face of the triangle, position sketch, now constrain this point, select top arc and point. Right click, concentricity, exit workbench, ok. Define the sketch, select plane 1, position sketch, reverse horizontal, reverse vertical, ok. Select circle command, create circle. This circle diameter is 32 mm. Select circle point and horizontal axis. This distance is 75 mm. Exit workbench. Okay. 
define the triangular part body select sketch 11 select pad command this pad length is 3 mm the upward direction and ok now define the part body select whole command select this top face this whole diameter is 20 mm position sketch select point and this circle edge right click concentricity exit opening and ok define the part body select this bottom circle face select whole command this whole diameter is 20 mm is up to next select thread definition select this threaded change type dimensions to support depth in the thread definition type no standard to metric thin pitch ok thread description is select m18 into 1.5 pitch review and ok define the part body select edge fillet select this edge this radius is 5 mm ok thank you for watching if you have any doubt please be comment in this video we'll see in the next video